Praise the Lord. God is good and gracious. Welcome to our brief Bible reflection as we continue meditating upon the word of God together. We have been looking at Psalm 89 where we have seen several things that are very encouraging to us. One is the mercies of the Lord, his loving kindness from generation to generation. And again, our God is great and powerful. Our God exalts his chosen one. And the fourth thing is that God's covenant stands fast. We are in this covenant. We stopped at verse number 32. We say that we are in this covenant and the Lord is calling us to walk in obedience, to hearken to his counsel. And if we do not do that, he says that he will revisit or he will, uh, he will punish us. Verse number 32, then I will punish their sin with the rod and their disobedience with the beating, or he will revisit our iniquity. Then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. This is what the Lord says. And as we enjoy being partakers of this covenant, we say that we must walk in obedience to the word of God. Verse number 33 to 37, the Bible says, but... I will never stop loving him, nor fail to keep my promise to him. No, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. I have sworn an oath to David, and in my holiness, I cannot lie. His dynasty will go on forever. His kingdom will endure as the sun. It will be as eternal as the moon. My faithful witness is the sky. Praise the Lord. In all this, the Lord is promising that he cannot lie. He says that I will never stop loving him, nor fail to keep my promise to him. And again, I will not break my covenant. He says that I will not take back a single word I said. The Lord is reminding us that since we know that his covenant stands fast and firm, we are supposed to remain under his counsel to allow ourselves to be guided and directed by God. And the Lord says that he will never stop loving us. He will not fail to keep his promise. Whatever the Lord has promised Brothers and sisters, he is reminding us that he will not fail to keep that. He says, I will not break my covenant. Imagine the Lord stating so clearly, I will not break my covenant. I will not take a single word I have said. Whatever the Lord has said concerning your life, remember that he is He's a promise keeper, his covenant is firm, and he's saying he will not take back a single word that he has said concerning you. He will fulfill his purpose and will for you. When he had promised all this to David, he's saying, I have sown an oath to David, and in my holiness, I cannot lie. Praise the Lord. The covenant of the Lord stands first. And in his holiness, he cannot lie. Many times the enemy may push us to think that the Lord did not mean what he said or he is not ready to fulfill what he promised. This is your word today that the Lord in his holiness, he cannot lie. Again, he cannot take back a single word that he has said concerning your life. Yours is to hold fast to the promises of God and to keep to what you have agreed with the Lord. As he had told David that his dynasty will go on forever, his kingdom will endure as the sun, and it will be as eternal as the moon. My faithful witness is the sky. When we mention the sky being the witness, the Lord is giving us this confidence that he does not just say things for the sake of saying. People may say things for the sake of saying to please you, you know, to, to entice you, to, uh, to, to, to make you happy, but the Lord does not just speak. He means exactly what he says. When he says that he cannot take back a single word that he has said, he cannot lie in his holiness, he means exactly that. And whatever the Lord has promised you, 
May you know that even today, the Lord is a promise keeper. Remain firm, remain steadfast, remain focused in him and know that the covenant of the Lord remains and stands fast. It is so firm that it is sealed with the blood of the Lamb. And our Redeemer Jesus Christ has come to reconcile us back to this God. This God who is a promise keeper. This God who does not change. This God who's, who in his holiness cannot lie. May we remain encouraged, strong and courageous in the Lord. Knowing that we are in this covenant. In the name of the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.